Hello guys, this is a review of the movie Daughter of the Wolf, starring Gina Carano, Brandon Feha, I apologize if I mispronounce his name, Richard Dreyfuss. This movie follows the story of Claire, who is claiming the inheritance of her late father. She's a combat specialist as well, so was her father. She has a son, teenage son, like 13 years of age, his name is Charlie and they kidnap her son so she goes takes the money to these that's how the movie starts she takes the money and i forgot what's the term when they're like trying to trick you like they're not going to give you anything during the exchange and they like a shootout happens and she manages to get a hold of one of the bad guys called Larson she actually falls into a lake but since this Larson guy he wasn't planning on killing her he didn't know that they were gonna betray her during the exchange he thought that they were gonna give her her son back so she he actually saves her and then <laughs> she gets a hold of him again and um, forces him at gunpoint to take her to where her son is where they're keeping her son and the guy that um, orchestrated this whole kidnapping thing, his, they call him father. So he's like the, the head guy. And they encounter a lot of things. Imagine it's a very snowy place just like you see here. And a lot, like, a lot of... Um, you learn details about their life. As the story goes on, it has a few action sequences. It has some some solid acting, and some way near the last part of the movie, Larson suspects that father actually killed his own father, and they he finds out that's true at the very end. But let me tell you. <laughs> before I get to that Claire finds her son but like not her son they find the hut where they were keeping him but they have already moved on so then they keep on looking for him then they go into another um, shooting battle and um, let me see if I'm not mistaken because I'm kind of like seeing this story a little bit I'm seeing it backwards in my head but it's just little points by the way spoilers ahead everybody knows that the point is that at the very end um, she manages to get Charlie back and father confesses to Larson that he in fact was the one who killed his mom and and stole him because she dumped him or something like that and this it's kind of difficult for me to really give you the plot because you know these action movies are like most of it is a plot that's what they they rely on having this this story and filling it up with action sequences and then having like the the dramatic um theme go full circle in the end so I'd have to just go one by one by one by one. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I really don't remember it. I watched it once. I remember it enough to to um, to review it though. It comes with this little um, slip um, cover. <laughs> I always like to point to it because I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool when I get a hold of those. Just like with the movie Boar. I bought it at Walmart. I buy most of my movies at Walmart and stuff like that. Anyway, back to this one. <laughs> I, I always get... Um, sidetracked I would say um, that the movie is good but it has some parts where I really don't understand why they're there for example it's daughter of the wolf the wolves do help her they do attack the bad guys at the end that's how father dies but it Mm, I feel like it was just more of a commercial move you know they had this idea that I read um, on YouTube after watching this movie I went and watched the trailer blah, the trailer like I usually do and read the comments and people were comparing it to other movies 
that have the same thing you know it's a snowy place it's like the action movie with the wolves it's kind of like the revenant with leonardo dicaprio mixed with other ones um i don't think um how can i say like i i find myself like always at a place where i don't want to say bad things this movie is not great it's not the best movie in the world especially for its genre it's an action movie yet i don't think it delivers extraordinary action sequences for me to consider it wow like amazing and it's not that it's a serious movie but it's not I don't think seriously made like the theme is serious kidnapping is like nothing funny about that but I don't know the reason why I bought the movie in the first place was because of Gina Carano I love MMA um, I watch UFC regularly it's very expensive you guys should know but um yeah she was never in the UFC I'm just saying that that's the organization that I watch the most now and she did good she did good I think like she's getting better each time and kudos to her for landing that um, Star Wars role the what's it called the Mandalorian I haven't watched that I've never watched the Star Wars movie or show in my life please be gentle <laughs> Um, but yeah, the movie, the movie wasn't bad at all. I had a good time, but it's one of those movies where I'm like, would I really want to watch it all over again? Mm, yeah, but not often. And I tried to watch it with another person. Not because I wanted to enjoy the awesome movie that I'm watching, but because watching it alone is kind of like mm, i think i already got like the gist i already got what i had to get that's that's the problem with this movie is that i don't feel like if i rewatch it i'm gonna i'm gonna learn more things i'm gonna see more things it's very straightforward very obvious it has the twist but it's nothing that really makes a difference in my opinion i give this movie a rating of mm, it's not bad I would say five and a half, six if I'm being generous. No. Yeah, six out of ten. Let me be generous tonight. Anyway, check it out if you like these type of movies, like action movies, because it is it's okay. Um otherwise if you're really expecting something huge, then don't go for it. That's my recommendation. Thank you for watching.